All right, guys, let's check out this Solas. This has an Aventine dial on this, so that makes it crazy special. The other main thing that makes it pretty wild and crazy is the micro rotor on the back. Uh, coupled with both those features, which is pretty cool already for most uh, watches and certainly micro brands, is the price point. So there's a deposit right now. You can put down a pre-order deposit of like 150 uh it's 150 euros you have i didn't do the conversion and then with a remainder balance due of like 299 later uh again that's in euros i didn't do the conversion to us dollar these are supposed to ship i think uh, september of this year 2021 there's already a ton of videos out on this i'm way late to the game on this uh, they didn't reach out to me this actually came through my Discord, there's like a bunch of different YouTube channels within my Discord community, and they have a bunch of watches going around on top of the watches that I send out. And one of the guys picked up this one. It might have been, I can't remember who picked it up first. But I'll put a link to a few channels down below that have videos of these already in my Discord group, so check those out. They probably honestly are going to do a better job of the video than I am. I just... I don't know a ton about this, and I didn't really research it a ton other than, you know, just a quick glimpse into the brand and the pricing, and then what you are getting for that price I think is already impressive, so I didn't really need to dig much deeper. So case size, 38 millimeter, lug to lug, 44 and a half. You can see a signed non-screw down crown, and thickness is only 9.75 millimeter thick and a 20 millimeter lug width. So pretty small watch overall. It does have a really well done leather strap. Well done in the sense that I feel like it's totally wearable. It's very comfortable. It's, it's thinner in nature. So I'm not sure how long it'll last. Um, this one's gotten plenty of use, um, you know, around other reviewers and everything. And, and then it has this clasp system here, which I'm a big fan of. I, I really am warming up to these to the point where I could see owning quite a few watches with this system. I really dig that. So the movement, there's no way I'm going to be able to pronounce this. Uh, Hang, Hang Zhao, it's H-A-N-G-Z-H-O-U, and it's a 5,000A. It's a small seconds, you know, hour, minute, and then a small seconds and a date. You can get this in a no date as well, but the main thing is it's like decorated and it has that micro rotor, which is just so cool. I didn't realize that there was more affordable micro water micro rotor watches out there. I thought that was kind of exclusive to the some higher end watches. I've always been fascinated with that design. So right away you can see from this angle right here, there's no way you're going to be able to tell the time. All of the indices and the hands and everything are polished, but when this thing catches the light, let me zoom in. I want to show you this. When it catches the light just right, I mean look at the dial. I mean it looks like you're just in a pitch black area i get this when i out where i am there's like no light pollution so at some nights if there's a clear sky i'll go uh, lay down outside and stare up and this is essentially what i see in the sky it's just beautiful it's just like non-stop stars just filling the sky and it's uh, in depth here with the dial i did a little bit of research on how these dials are made and there's other companies that do them but the fail rate on them is very high to the point where I forget what the number was, but it was like for every three or five or something like that dials that they try to make this other brand that I looked up that they get like one successful one. Like the failure rate is crazy high, but you can see the um, full polish indices, applied logo, even the ring and everything around the small seconds is full polished and it looks to be applied. So pretty cool. Personally, if I were going to buy something like this, I would go for a no date because I just don't want that interruption in the dial. You want that all done just like that. A little difficult to read, like I said, but if you catch the light like that, it's plenty visible. So not a problem there. Let's take a look at this movement. This thing is too fun. It is too cool looking. You can see there, it's signed micro rotor. There's plenty to see there and it's well decorated, I think. Certainly for this price point. The model is actually called Starlight. The company is out of Dublin, Ireland. 
So some of these, some of the language and some of the words obviously are more tied toward the Irish. So very cool. Let's pop this on wrist. Let me zoom back out. And well, there won't be an loom shot. So we don't have that, but we can do a wrist shot. Assuming I can get it on my wrist, yeah. Looks like whoever had it last. I think Hector had it last, if I'm not mistaken. But there it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. It's very comfortable. Like I said, it's already the strap's already plenty broken in. Not that it really needed it because it's a thinner one, and it'd be a really fun watch. And like I said, it's the price point: 150 euro down, and then 299 euro due when it's you know go time. Hard to beat that for micro rotor and that crazy dial. I don't know. It seems like a pretty good package to me. Let me know what you guys think. I'm sure there's some of you out there that are definitely interested in a watch like this. So if you are, chime in. Let me know. I'll see you guys on the next bid.